that the DUP leader and First Minister Peter Robinson has reshuffled his DUP ministerial team. Nigel Dodds leaves his post as Finance Minister and that will be taken over by Sammy Wilson. Sammy Wilson's departure from the Environment Ministry leaves an opening which is to be filled by Edwin Putz. Gregory Campbell leaves DECAL. Nelson McCausland steps in there as Culture Minister and Geoffrey Donaldson steps down as Junior Minister, a role to be taken up by Robin Newton. Well, a short time ago I spoke to Peter Robinson, who's in Westminster, and I started by asking him why the reshuffle now. Well, I'd always indicated that I intended to carry out a reshuffle uh, over the summer. Uh, I thought it was uh, important to fulfil the pledge that I made that we were going to phase out uh, the issue of double jobbing. But Sammy Wilson uh, now ends up with four jobs. Well, he doesn't end up with a, he originally had that number of uh, jobs, so it, this is no new position. Uh, Sammy is one of those who is waiting to get out of uh, local government, uh, waiting for the legislation to go through which will allow us to uh, replace those who are councillors uh, and wish to stand down without having by-elections because clearly there will be hundreds of by-elections across the, the province as uh, councillors from all parties would be seeking to get out and that would be a massive cost to the, the ratepayer. Jim Allister of the TUV is saying this is just moving the deck chairs on the Titanic. Well, I don't think anybody's going to pay too much attention to what Jim Allister has to, to say. As someone who's just lost his uh, seat in uh, Europe and doesn't have any elected uh, position, uh, I think we'll pay a bit more attention to the uh, electorate who mandated the Democratic Unionist Party to, to be in the uh, executive. Uh, and we have a, a team in the executive which will be able to make its mark on each of those departments. Nelson McCausland will be the new Arts and Culture Minister. Now, you're talking about the need for devolution to work, but Sinn Féin is unhappy with his views on the Irish Language Act. Well, uh, if uh, each party was able to uh, appoint the other party's ministers, there would be a lot of changes, and there would be certainly changes in the Sinn Féin uh, ranks, if that were the, the case. Uh, any of our ministers will follow the Democratic Unionist Party's policies in those uh, areas. We made very considerable changes to the way we are going to operate in the executive. All of the decisions taken by Democratic Unionist ministers okay. will be decisions taken collectively by our group. Peter Robinson in London. Thank you very much.